I'm actually making this video right off from the last video. Uh, I'm out driving because it's beautiful. So if you haven't seen my last video, that was the Model Y video. And today I want to talk about something that has really come up quite a bit and that is when are they going to do a Model S and Model X refresh? Uh, honestly, do we need it? Do we need to have a refresh? My opinion is absolutely not. I think the cars are impeccably beautiful as they are. I know my Model S, I cannot think of a single thing that I would love to see changed on it. But I would love to hear your opinions. I would love to hear your comments on this and what you think about this. My watch keeps going off. Look at that. So for me, I think the big, actually it's one of you guys uh, leaving me a comment on my previous video. <laughs> That's funny. So. I think the refresh is one of those things that a lot of people are, are talking about, but I don't think many people think about this. The reason why I say that is because the Model S and the Model X already look beautiful. In my opinion, the Model S and the Model X are still amazing looking cars. They do pretty much everything that you need them to do and then some. I think ultimately the cars, they don't need an update. They don't need a refresh. And if they will come up with a refresh, I am almost certain that the Model S and the Model X is gonna have that single screen. Now, if you guys watched my last video on the Model Y, I made it pretty clear that I am not at all in any way, shape or form a fan of the single screen. I don't care how big it is. I don't care how small it is. That single screen, it I feel like it's, it. I just can't get used to it. I will, however, say the same thing I said in the previous video, which is to each their own. Look, just, I don't like it, it's my preference. The single screen, it's a personal choice, it's your choice. It's not my choice, we don't need to uh, get into that, but I think that's what's gonna end up happening. The Model S and the Model X will have eventually, you know, that single screen put, in, put into effect, more than likely the 15 inch and so forth and so on. And I, I can see that there will be benefits, especially if you like that. Uh, more than likely, the new vents will come into into uh, the Model S and X. But do we need it? I don't think so. I think the Model S and X should stay more or less the way they are. You know, they want to do upgrades in the great. I think, you know, if they want to put in a different style of screen, maybe more round or whatever, I think those will be okay, but I would really love to see them keep both screens. I think that the two screen system for the S and X are really, really a good thing to have. And again, this is a personal opinion. I would love to hear your opinion on this. So what would you do from the outside? You know, with the Model Y, it's pretty much a Chrome delete. As far as I, I understand, the, you don't see, there's no more of that Chrome on, on, on the body. So me personally i don't mind the chrome i kind of like the fact that it separates the car a little bit and gives it a little bit more look i don't know it's, it's an interesting look it's not to say that i wouldn't have i never thought about doing a chrome delete on my car but i won't have that option and i think moving forward tesla might actually start making this a thing where you know the, they're gonna get start getting rid of the chrome okay well if they go down that path they go down that path but from the outside, there's really nothing much. I would, I just wouldn't change anything. You, you know, they want to come up with new wheels. Sure, they can sell us aftermarket wheels, but the shape uh, and the look of the cars are in just absolutely beautiful on the Model uh, X and S. So I don't know why people are looking so much into that refresh mentality. And, and I hear this a lot. There's uh, so many comments that I get about, do you think they would do a refresh on the Model S and X? If, they were to do a refresh what would you like to see what would be the thing that really uh, I guess would capture your attention because right now I can tell you any single person that has ever gotten into this car these two screens and the way that they laid out the Model S and X are absolutely gorgeous they they really capture everybody's attention and everybody's imagination I'm coming up to a year of owning this vehicle and I absolutely love it i every time i get into it i'm still mesmerized by it i don't know what tesla could do different and i don't think they should be focusing on doing anything different however the biggest thing and i think this is the one that some people are really really leaning towards and that's going to be the new batteries you know basically for those of you who don't know Model S and X use different batteries from the Model uh, 3 and what the Model Y will be using. 
it will allow for the faster supercharging. I have to say, um, that's actually a next video I'm making. I'm gonna do that as well today as well. And that's basically gonna be talking about, you know, the faster supercharging because of the way that everything is set up and the new batteries are able to handle a bigger charge. I personally don't think we need a faster supercharger, believe it or not. I, I, I get a lot of backlash when I say that, but I think we need more charging stations. Look, I live in Canada and in a, in a realistic world, um, in Canada, you can't, we don't have a coast to coast, um, we don't have coast to coast superchargers yet. I'm not saying it's impossible to get coast to coast. I'm saying we don't have coast to coast superchargers. It pretty much dies off in Alberta a little bit. And then the working, I believe on a, the working on the next supercharger right now in Saskatoon, uh, which is quite a bit of distance between the two nearest superchargers. You're not going to make it on a single charge. So even with this car, which is the 100D, and I get a heck of a mileage on this vehicle. So I think they need to fill it, fill in the, the, you know, the gaps that are missing, especially throughout Canada. We have Highway 1 basically is running from the East Coast to the West Coast, and it's not complete. I think it's a huge miss because there are a ton of Canadians who absolutely love Tesla and would love to own a Tesla. I think that those are things that they should be focusing on. The cars themselves, like I said, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on what you'd like to see if they were to do a refresh? I don't, I honestly can't think of anything. I love everything the way it is, aside from maybe treating Model S and X owners a little bit better when it comes to uh, the updates. Look, that's just my opinion. I wanna hear yours. And with that said, I'm gonna say once again, like I always do on every single video, I so very much appreciate your support. I love your comments. Please don't forget to leave me a comment. I answer all the comments and I actually try and do it as quick as humanly possible. And usually within an hour, um, I answer all the comments. So leave me your comments. Let me know your thoughts. Give this video a thumbs up. Apparently it helps. I said this last video, um, you know, as a YouTuber, I can tell you that it just helps with the algorithm to get the video out there to everyone else. If the if the algorithm believes that, uh, you know, there's interest in, um, well, the actual video, it just kind of recommends it to a bunch of other people, which in turn helps out the channel dramatically. I'm still trying to grow this channel, so I appreciate your support. With all that said, thank you very much for watching. As always, love you guys, and goodbye.